Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to balance chemical equations. So a chemical equation simply shows a chemical reaction. It tells us what reactants react and what products are formed. But the key rule is the number of atoms must be the same on both sides. That's called the law of conservation of mass. So right here, I have the steps written for how we're going to balance them. First, we're going to write the unbalanced equation. Then we're going to count the atoms on both sides. We're going to balance one element at a time, and we're going to start with the most complex atom. And then last, we're going, to, or we're going to make sure we balance hydrogen and oxygen last. So let's go over the first example here. If we look at it, we can see that we have two hydrogens on the left. We have two hydrogens on the right. We have two oxygens on the left, and we have one oxygen on the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a 2 in front of the H2O, and that'll give us a total of four hydrogens on the right and two oxygens on the right. So now our hydrogens are off, but to counteract that, we're simply going to write a two in front of the H2. So now when we count it all up, we're going to have four hydrogens on the left, four hydrogens on the right, two oxygens on the left, and two oxygens on the right. Let's try the next problem. So here we can see that we have one carbon on the left, and one carbon on the right. We have four hydrogens on the left, and we only have two hydrogens on the right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write a two in front of the H2O, giving us four hydrogens on the right, but that's gonna skew our oxygen total, as now we have two oxygens on the left, and we have two plus two, four oxygens on the right. So what we're gonna do now is write a two in front of the O2 here, and when we go back and count the total, we're going to have one carbon on the left, one carbon on the right, four hydrogens on the left, four hydrogens on the right, and then four oxygens on the left, and four oxygens on, on the right. Let's try one last problem here. Fe plus O2 goes to Fe2O3. So just looking at this, we can see that we have one iron on the left, and we have two irons on the right. So just quickly, we're going to put a two in front of the iron there. And then we have two oxygens on the left, and we have three oxygens on the right. So we're going to need a lowest common multiple for this one. So what's the lowest common multiple of three and two? Six. So we're going to have to find a way to get six oxygens. Two times three is equal to six. And so now we're going to look on the right side here and we have three oxygens over here, or three oxygens over here to six oxygens over here. So we're going to have to put a two in front of this here. But now that's going to skew one last thing. It's going to skew the iron. We have two irons on the left here and we have four over here. So we're just going to have to erase that two and instead put a four. So now we have four irons on the left, four irons on the right, we have six oxygens on the left, and we have six oxygens on the right. So a quick recap. Always make sure to start with the complex molecules, balance metals, then nonmetals, leave hydrogen and oxygen for last, and use only whole number coefficients. I hope this video helped. Thank you.